Hello everyone, this is Zibo and welcome to today's in Z News. So in today's in Z News, we're gonna run through all the update that is gonna come tomorrow, 9th of February, on the Garden Tales KR server. And without further ado, let us start today's video. So first of all, we have the new hero White Eye, a new uh lolly furry waifu for those of you guys who like this kind of design. And she's a water unit, party buff, close range damage plus 50%. So I am assuming this to be melee damage because based on the translation of her remaining kits, right, it's very melee centric. So we will uh we will wait until the official release to actually see her power level. But based on what we see from the abilities of the EX weapon as well as the hero abilities. She's probably going to be like a water melee rig kind of unit, right? Providing water resist down for the water teams to do more damage. So that is uh, Snowmaker, the ability for White Chow. So next one, we have uh, more English voices. Okay, Rosetta's English voices. New floating comic special, Little Miracle of the Festival. Okay. Okay, so there's a Guardian information UI change. Okay. Just some minor UI changes for the for the display of your profile. Okay, then there's a added gender and personality change uh, function. Okay, so gender change allows you to change from the male knight to the female knight. Very cool. A little bit late, but I also don't know what this male and uh female gender night thing is gonna affect in like in it i guess it's just for like within the story itself the gender of your night actually changes so that is one thing and maybe there will be future contents that will coordinate with this gender thing or it's uh, probably for the people who selected the wrong gender at the start so if you're a female player then you chose a male night and then you think that hey maybe female is better so you can change it so so that those are the reasons i can think of for this added gender bending abilities okay so like personally i'm i i don't really think too much about this because like if uh, i i like a female character then i'll choose the female knight at the start right if i'm a male guy i'm a male then i don't really mind the character design then i'll choose the male knight so gender bending doesn't really change things out too much other than maybe like you know um their initial looks in terms of like your night design so that's one thing then next one uh personality change uh, function so personality is one thing which i never really understood because uh in the initial part of the story where you choose your uh characters uh they actually let you choose the personality of the night itself so from what i understand i think it's supposed to change out some of the conversation features for the night but uh, it's a little bit unexpected because I don't see much of a change for the lines of the characters or the expression of the characters because it is like the same voice acting and the, the lines are the same. So I really don't know what this personality thing does. So I'm not going to comment too much about it. Okay, so this feature I, I honestly think is kind of useless because like yeah okay fine additional new features right so next one we have a uh, co-op changes so there's a new champion tier added so champion tier was added previously so there was no rewards for it so this one is a modification of the rule so for the virus itself you are protected by this uh, drone so you have to stick around the drone to stay protected from the black color virus so i haven't really touched a champion's uh, co-op yet but I guess it's just co-op with higher difficulty, so I'm not going to cover too much about it. So yeah, not too spectacular for me. Then uh, Camazon Land update, okay. Yeah, Camazon Land. Improvements, okay. Oh, party preset feature. Okay, this is uh, definitely an improvement because uh, like sometimes like I really have a few units which I think is amazing for Camazon. So I just choose them and then run through Camazon as fast as possible. So this is definitely a great addition so farm team extended okay new collection other bot fixes and improvement okay okay issue where the amount of experience consumed when adding experience at a certain level of hero was displayed incorrectly 
Okay. So, uh, a hero knowledge bonus value for knight, me and Faye, were displayed incorrectly has been fixed. So this is a display error. Okay. So new products, white chow, new package. Okay, I'm not going to talk too much about it. So the uh, pickup summon, I'll include the heroes on the right hand side. Another bingo event. Okay, event boost. So event boost will be applied to Awakening Stone Dungeon. Then there's Raiders of the Deep. Okay, Meteor Excavation. Uh, costumes. So we have uh, two costumes for the lolly characters. One is the White Chow and one is AA72. Then uh, the return for Valentine's characters and the Valentine weapons. Okay, so personally, let's talk about it. I think I am kind of disappointed with this patch because uh, you, you guys should know by now that 14 February is the Valentine's Day. So I've seen like a lot of other games having their own Valentine's event running and I can't believe that Garden Hill doesn't have an exclusive Valentine's event other than I'll say like the comic. So I, 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 I guess like this is a relatively minor patch but I won't be streaming tomorrow because uh, we're busy with my stuff and to be honest other than the new unit there really isn't like much new contents to cover so yeah that's pretty much it for this uh easy news right thank you very much for tuning in as usual and do remember to like and subscribe in order to see more contents from the channel and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys